Hi everyone! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Yuli and my videos are about the Greek language and culture. Today I want to share with you eight YouTube channels that are not for Greek learners. So they don't teach Greek, but they all feature interesting topics and they all have subtitles. Watching a video without subtitles, if you are not an advanced learner, has no educational impact from my point of view. You need to have the chance to see all the phrases written in order to recognize them, understand the meaning and include them in your vocab. So without further ado, let's get started. The first YouTube channel that I recommend is Ikathimerini Fisiki. Physics rules the world around us. The change of seasons, the alteration of day and night and other phenomena are based on the laws of physics. In this YouTube channel, there are several mentions of the applications that physics has in our lives. In essence, it helps ordinary people like you and me, who haven't studied physics, to understand better various phenomena and how they affect our lives. The descriptions are accompanied by colorful sketches, which makes the videos even more interesting. In addition, this channel has a relevant website where one can read the related article if they prefer reading. My second suggestion is the channel Human Nature. This channel proves that learning about medicine and biology can be very interesting and even helpful. Its aim is to help us get a better understanding not only of how our body functions, but also if us or a person near us finds themselves in an emergency situation. I personally enjoy learning this type of information. When I was a kid, I really liked a show called Once Upon a Time Life. It's a French animated series which tells the story of human body, but it's for children. Fun fact, yesterday I discovered that you can watch it on Netflix. Braff used to upload sarcastic videos with a lot of cursing, but lately his channel has a more fun and informative card. For instance, he has videos about some very genius Greek mechanical devices of ancient times. However, you should keep in mind that Mykios speaks very fast in all his videos, which on the one hand could make understanding more difficult for inexperienced speakers, but on the other hand provides a realistic depiction of how many Greeks will talk to you if you ever plan to visit Greece. I bet that most of you know what a TEDx event is. The official channel has plenty of inspiring and well-prepared talks that foster curiosity. The speakers are experts to their fields and I highly recommend watching the Greek videos. Cooking is my hobby and I enjoy spending time in the kitchen whenever I want to relax. Argyro is one of my favorite Greek chefs. Her recipes have a traditional character and every single thing I've tried was a huge success. If I need to prepare a dinner with typical Greek dishes, my first thought is Argyro Barbariou. Also, she has plenty of twists for delicious traditional Greek dishes, which are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Panos Ioannidis is one of the three judges in Masterchef Greece. His recipes are a little fancier and sometimes he recreates some typical Italian dishes too because he studied and worked in Italy for many years. His videos are easy to follow. He doesn't speak fast and at the beginning of each video he gives some extra information about the nutritional value of the dish. This is a channel for meat lovers. Two brothers are cooking classic authentic Greek recipes and they make you feel like you're part of their company. An interesting fact is that they come from Karditsa, a city in western Thessaly, and they have a slightly different accent. In some places, such as the islands or north of Greece, there are some small differences in phonology or grammar. Even if younger speakers 
tend to convert towards accents closer to the standard language, I personally find it very unique and I'm fascinated by the fact that in such a small country like Greece, you can come across a variety of dialects. Last but not least, the channel Easy Do, Dimitris, suggests some easy and practical ideas and tips for your garden, your kitchen, your farm and your pets. What I like the most about this channel is how by using simple everyday items and environmentally friendly ways, you are able to protect your garden without harming the nature or your health using chemicals. That was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching it until the very end. And I would love to know what do you prefer to watch on YouTube? Unfortunately, there are not so many Greek channels with English or Greek subtitles, but if you prefer topics like fashion, makeup or travels, you can leave a comment below. I can suggest you a couple of channels, but just keep in mind that they don't have subtitles, so probably you might find them a little hard to follow. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and see you very, very soon. Fila que pola!